Hello all, this is Ms. Friedewald again with Introduction to the Principle of Design Movement. Movement is the arrangement of the parts of an artwork that create a sense of motion to the viewer. Um, that can mean looking at an artwork and feeling like you're viewing a still frame shot of an activity that physically would happen or the artwork might actually be moving. This can relate to both two-dimensional and three-dimensional artworks, and it's usually associated with the principle of design rhythm. So when creating movement, there are four basic strategies that artists use that we break down types of movement into within artworks, and they are implied movement, sequential movement, optical movement, and actual movement. The first three have to do with static artworks, while actual movement has to do with a physically moving object. So an implied movement, the movement that you see looks like a, almost like a photograph of an activity in a still frame. So in the example, we have the Lascaux Caves Hall of Bulls. It looks like a photograph, well, the, you know, they're cave paintings, but it looks like a photograph of what would be actual bulls running. You have their extended legs and they look like they are headed towards the ones on the left, towards the one on the right. So there's this sense of movement that looks as though it's been captured in time. In sequential movement or sequence movement, a series of images are arranged together in an order that makes it look like you're seeing the progression of time in a static image. So static meaning it's not actually moving. So in this example, we have, it's called new descending staircase. You have multiple overlapping, almost frames of this cubist-like drawing of a human figure coming down the stairs. The ones that look like they are furthest away tend to be a little bit darker in value, making it look like they are more past tense, while the figures move progressively towards the bottom right corner, creating the illusion that they are descending or walking down the staircase. In optical movement, there is the illusion that there is movement based on looking at the image itself and how there are patterns of elements of art used together to create that illusion. So this was really a popular art movement in the late 20th century, the 1960s and 70s primarily, called optical art, in which they made paintings with these perfectly crisp lines that when put together made it look like there was physical movement on this paper even though there was no physical movement whatsoever. And lastly you have actual movement and I wish I could have found a video clip or a gif of this because this particular sculpture when the wind blows it catches inside of each of those curved pipes and causes them to spin around almost like a windmill and I believe they go in opposite directions, but I could be wrong. Um, but in this one, like I said, there is physical movement. And so they would spin around and create this spiral type effect and look very elegant, I suppose. Um, but again, I could not find a um, GIF or video for this particular image. And I really liked this one to share with you. But kinetic energy, kinetic art means that it does physically move. This includes mobiles. It includes anything that does physically have actual real movement. So practice identifying movement. In the following images, I want you to look at them and identify what types of movement that you see created and how the artist created that movement.